Thank you, Mr. Henry. Thanks for having me here to conduct Spoon River. Um, I've been working with these guys the last six weeks. I have two more weeks left to go, actually, and it's just been a pleasure um, conducting this band as well as all the other bands I've conducted uh, four pieces, other pieces here earlier today. I just want to talk a little bit about the piece Spoon River, written by Percy Aldridge Ranger. Um, you've actually heard mostly contemporary pieces in the wind ensemble literature um, from these guys here tonight, and this is easily the oldest piece. It was written between 1919 and 1929. It was actually originally heard in 1857 by a guy named Charles Robinson, who sent it to Percy Granger when he was 90 years old. He heard this tune at a country barn dance, and um, among many other things, Percy Granger was an uh, ethnomusicologist. He felt like it was his right to preserve the American culture by taking these American folk tunes and embedding them in wind ensemble literature. So you're going to hear a really cool, uh, old-fashioned, rustic folk tune played throughout this uh, Spoon River. And before we do that, I just wanted to say one last time, thank you so much to the band directors, Mr. Bill Henry, Frank Pascarella, and Rich Bergeron for having me here. It's been such an excellent opportunity. Every time I tell my classmates that I'm student teaching at Eastview, they get really jealous. And they're really envious of all the things that happen here, and they're jealous that I get to do this. Um, this is such a fantastic, fantastic music program that you have here and continue to support it. It takes a great uh, community to support such a great arts program. It takes great students to enjoy it and, and use it, and it takes great directors and administration to make it run. So really take advantage of that and be thankful that it's here. Um, and I guess to the students, thank you for uh, working with me the last six weeks, and uh, I hope you've learned as much from me as I've learned from you. So without further ado, Spoon River. <laughs> 